I've got very sad, I've got something very special for you tonight. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a letter that I wrote to a queen, to the queen, Queen Elizabeth. I filmed it outside Buckingham Palace two days ago. It's flying at the moment on YouTube if you tap, tap in SGB message to the queen. I've already performed it in like three other venues today. One on the South Bank, incredible venue on the South Bank, uh, the Wonderground Spiegel Tank with one taste. Sorry. But yeah, I need your help on this one, okay? On the count of three, if we can go shh. So everyone can listen up. One, two, three, shh. And I'll get this started. Yo, dear Queen Elizabeth, may I call you Liz? One fool to write a poem because I wonder how you live. And are you ever happy? Even though you're really rich, do you watch the television or meditate in bliss? And truly, when was the last time you ever washed a dish? If you could change anything, what would be your wish? To be able to speak publicly and say exactly what you think without the forced control and privy council scripts. I mean, for me, a young man of your land, I feel that you should have your say. Because Cameron ain't all that. What's your thoughts on 9-11 and the war in Iraq? And the word on the street is that the demons run the banks. And I don't know if you noticed, but this world's gone mad. I would like to have a meeting in the palace for a chat to discuss how we could spread more love across the land. I mean, we've been trying our hardest. Could you give us a hand? I love you, Queen Liz. I love you, Queen Liz. For years, I've sung your name every night loud with England football games. God save our gracious Queen As long as you're back me, and both strive to do the best for our country and our planet Earth. And I know that you're listening, Queenie, because our people observe. But why did only 32% vote in the local councils? Because the people don't trust politicians. Queenie, they're lying scoundrels. We want you. Whilst this carries on, see more mindless vandals. See, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, I guess I'm just crying out for help. There must be something you can do to help share out the wealth. Plus, the food's getting worse, ruining health. What do you eat, Liz? Is there fluoride in your water or is it straight from a spring? And who do you think's the best England captain? And as for managers, I think you should have made sure Redknapp stepped in because I don't want to die about seeing an England World Cup win. But on a serious tip, we need to stop selling guns and making profit off this because karma's a bitch and it's helping kill kids. But not to worry, Queenie. In the words of Rocky Balboa, it's not over till it's over. And we're still yet to be judged, so let's make history so the people truly know the world ain't so corrupt. Raising human consciousness, spreading light and love, one taste, one tongue. I would like to invite you to passing clouds for some rum to hear how I perform with abandoned stuff. In fact, we'll throw a private party, only people that you know, and we'll get the best poets in this realm to flow, not forgetting the finest of El Grey and puffiest of stones. Elizabeth, I love you to the bones. And every step of England is your home, and our communities die every down and over all over the globe. Fighting for you and your beautiful robes to make sure you're safe as well as our homes. But for these MPs, nobody votes. People live down roads for years in their home, lonely and loveless, and nobody knows. Not one neighbour down the whole road. Fences six feet high in the gardens, in homes, in homes, in homes, they're suffering loads. Most of my school friends are now PS3 drones and weekends come, it's bad out to nose. Please, Elizabeth, can you just ask them to grow, 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 grow your own veg? Because nobody does it now, but they might. If you said, bake, bake, bake your own bread or at least go local bakeries because Tesco's is dead. I'm writing this for my mum, dad and beautiful nan. Not forgetting Jack, it's local cap and all the soldiers who died in the world wars to save this land. I do this for England and the founding fathers, for every pub owner and the Magna Carta. Not forgetting the mighty King Arthur. I'm writing this for Queen Victoria, Dickens and the Artful Dodger, every bull baby and every old codger, every house owner, tenant and lodger. We need your help to raise the children proper. Education and schools, we need to teach meditation. The English constitution and how to cook with flavours. The law of attraction and research our ancients and teach the true value of communication. 
there should be at least one week, there should be at least one week out of 52 where we can't use the television. Because to our communities, that would make a difference. Just go out and say it, Queenie, now listen, with your help, watch communities glisten. The UK, the UK produces 20% of its own food. And Elizabeth, I think that's shameful. We could have pushed that to 50%. If every household planted seeds in April, then people in poverty would be more stable. Elizabeth, do you think that I'm wrong? What about the evil play that in songs? It's like the media forgot about God and the spirit within because you're a stupid hoe, is what eight-year-olds sing. By the time they're 13, they're loving the drinks, still nobody thinks, still nobody thinks that you can help change everything, Liz. Yeah. I write this for Venus, the moon and the stars, for your jubilee and the queens and the past. Yeah. Look. Elizabeth, thank you for reading and listening in your valuable time. I thought I'd make it worthwhile, so I wrote it in rhyme. Sent it along with some love and some light. Yours sincerely and hopefully, Sunny Green, freedom to mankind. Thank you, Pastor Class. I love you. Now back to the mayhem. Are you nuts? Sorry to bring it down, but that's how it is. Let's get this message heard. But more mind, yes. 9 11 was an inside job. Now, people, are you ready to party? 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 Are you ready to shake it? The new trick is coming for you. So get your sex suit on you and welcome the king and queen of Tip Step, Molotov Jukebox. Bless her, one last.